Ready for physics? I know. Let's take the train. Speaking of physics, what's Newton's first law? Well, Newton's first law states that an object in motion will stay in motion, and an object at rest will stay at rest, unless acted on by an outside force. Speaking of laws, what's Newton's second law? Well, Newton's second law states that the force of an object is equal to its mass times its acceleration. So, if this train car has a mass of 100,000 kilograms, and the acceleration due to gravity is negative 9.8 meters per second squared, what would the force of this train be when hitting the ground? And as everyone knows, Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. And a perfect example of this is a cannon. The force the cannon exerts on the cannonball is exactly equal and opposite to the force the cannonball exerts on the cannon. Not only is momentum conserved in situations that follow Newton's third law, but they're also conserved in explosions. We're almost there. Maybe we won't be late to physics. Oh no, an elastic collision. That was a close one. There certainly was no loss of kinetic energy in that collision. Well, that's what an elastic collision is. The total kinetic energy and momentum is conserved before and after the collision. Oh no, an inelastic collision. In an inelastic collision, the kinetic energy is not conserved and is transformed into a new form. Notice how we were deformed and came to an abrupt halt.